Welcome back students. This question was asked in GATE 2010 exam from the subject Computer Architecture and Organization. It's also a two marks question. Let's read the statement. A five stage pipeline processor has instruction fetch, instruction decode, operand fetch, perform operation and write operand stages. The IF, ID, OF, WO stages Take one clock cycle each for any instruction. The perform operation stage takes one clock cycle for add and sub instruction, three clock cycles for multiply instruction, and six clock cycles for divide instruction respectively. Operand forwarding is used in the pipeline. What is the number of clock cycles needed to execute the following sequence of instructions? Just have a look at this program. They have also mentioned the meaning of each and every instruction. Then you can also see these four options. Okay, so you have been given this program that is to be executed on this pipeline and you are required to calculate the number of clock cycles considering that operand forwarding is used. Now we will be solving this question with two methods. First is the shortcut that I just taught you in the theory lectures. And second one is the traditional method where you will just draw that cycles diagram. Okay. First let's go with the shortcut. Now why am I able to use this shortcut? Or is the shortcut even applicable here? Let's decide it. Because they have not mentioned the type of operand forwarding that means they haven't given you that operands are being forwarded from this stage to this stage or whatsoever they just said operand forwarding is used because it's only mentioned operand forwarding is used you can consider the best case that means full forwarding is used okay so that's why you can assume there are no stall cycles due to dependencies here you can see there are dependencies for example, this is R2 and here also we have R2. Here we have R5, here also we have R5. So we do have these dependencies. Okay. But because you are using full forwarding, you can kind of neglect the dependencies because due to these dependencies, there will be no stall cycle because we are using full forwarding okay now will there be any stall cycles yeah because of this reason because perform operation requires more than one cycle in some instructions like it requires more than one cycle in multiply it also requires more than one clock cycle in divide okay so there will be some stall cycles now what the shortcut says is for the time being, you neglect this part. You just calculate the number of clock cycles required for executing your program, considering each and every stage requires only one clock cycle. Just, uh, uh, I'll repeat it, listen it carefully. Considering each and every stage requires one clock cycle, you calculate the number of clock cycles required for executing this program and we have already seen that dependencies can be neglected due to the fact full forwarding is used now how many clock cycles is this program going to require the first stage sorry the first instruction will take five clock cycles because it's a five stage pipeline because anyways initially the pipeline was empty and the first stage will take five clock cycles because it will pass through all the stages. Second instruction, rather each of these three instructions will be uh, will complete their execution in one one clock cycle each due to pipelining because they will be executed in parallel. That means five clock cycles for the first one and remaining three use one clock cycle each which comes out to be three clock cycles in total. So in eight clock cycles this program will be executed completely neglecting that 
some instructions require more than one clock cycles for a specific stage okay so eight clock cycles for this program now let's take these two into count multiply and divide require more than one clock cycles for po stage okay let's find out how many multiply and divide instructions do we have i1 and i2 this one and this one okay now we just assumed while calculating it we assumed that each and every stage requires one clock cycle that means out of these three we have already considered po requires one clock cycle how many extra clock cycles do we need to give to this stage two because we have already considered it needs one this one is taken care of by adding two now let's consider this divide instruction we already assumed divide requires one perform operation one clock cycle for perform operation how many extra clock cycles do we need to give it five okay because out of six we have already counted po once this is the answer that's it it is i guess 8 plus 10 8 plus 2 is 10 and 5 15 so your answer is 15 clock cycles now what i'm going to do is i'll draw the diagram and i'll explain you the other method also but once you know this shortcut you'll solve these questions only without using a pen and paper even okay so let's try to execute this multiply instruction which is i1 it will be fetched in the first clock cycle then decoded then operand fetch after that perform operation will require three clock cycles because it's a multiply instruction that means perform operation perform operation and again perform operation after that it will take one right operand st uh, stage uh, is it right operand or what yeah its name is right operand okay so the first instruction is done let's now start with the instruction number two fetch decode operand fetch and perform operation six times now the thing is this r2 okay i guess we don't have any dependency here yeah we can simply use perform operation six times So because there is no dependency between I1 and I2, that means I2 is not using the value which is generated by I1. So we can simply say there is no forwarding between these two. And because I2 requires six clock cycles of perform operation stage, it will be starting from this clock cycle only because bit, uh, in the previous two clock cycles PO is being used by I1 stage okay in stage number five and six we'll have to stall the pipeline because I1 is using this hardware of perform operation now let's try to execute this instruction number three it will be fetched decoded operand fetch 
and perform operation here requires only one clock cycle because it's a add instruction but po hardware is not free until this point okay so po can be used only here moreover this value r5 r5 is actually generated at this point so there is forwarding like this okay the instruction number two will generate this value r5 by dividing these two and divide means alu operation or this stage perform operation only after six stages this division will be completed and only after six stages this value r5 will be available for forwarding so this is how the operand gets forwarded parallelly you can see this last instruction i4 requires a value r2 which is written by this instruction i3 okay so this one is instruction i3 and the value r2 is generated in this perform operation stage okay r2 is generated here and it's forwarded to the perform operation stage of next instruction okay and let's count how many clock cycles are these 13 14 15 so your answer is 15 actually we have already seen that the answer is 15 now you see you might think that this operand fetch will fetch some operands and at this point in fifth clock cycle neither of the values r2 or r5 r2 is generated by i1 r5 is generated by i2 i1 i2 neither of these values r2 and r5 are available to this stage operand fetch so it's going to fetch the old values or the stale values yeah that's true but these values will be overwritten by operand forwarding hardware actually whenever you implement operand forwarding you will either neglect this stage or will take care of overwriting uh, the old values okay and you need not worry about this forwarding because anyways there's a lot of time or lot of gap or lot of cycles between these two stages so this will also be forwarded the only thing you need to worry is this forwarding just for uh, solving the question i'm saying okay and this stage can be placed anywhere it might be here or anywhere in these empty clock cycles okay and what else am i missing yeah that's it so these these stall cycles they are actually added because perform operation hardware is busy it's not added due to uh, operand forwarding they are added due to the fact that perform operation hardware is busy here here also you see these stall cycles are added because of the fact that hardware is busy these are not added due to the fact that there is some dependency dependencies do not create stall cycles when full forwarding is used in most of the cases in most of the cases dependency cannot create stall cycles given that hardware is capable of forwarding operand from any stage to any stage okay so your answer is 15 okay so one thing that i need to mention is this of stage many people argue it will be placed here or a few people even say it will be placed here but i think that doesn't uh, matter at all uh, like but 
द होल पॉइंट ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन इज इफ यू प्लेस ऑपर एंड फैच दिस ऑपर एंड फैच एट एनी ऑफ दीज स्टेजेस वॉट विल हैपन इज this instruction i2 is you uh, using the perform operation hardware this instruction i3 is fetching some operands okay po is used by i2 in all these clock cycles if you place of here below these perform operations i3 instruction will fetch its operands and you very well know that the operands that are fetched will be written into the buffers of po stage okay the buffers just uh, before the po stage and it can create some mess in the processor okay because already of has placed like let me just draw the diagram say these are the five stages and these circular ones are the buffers now even placing this of here is not actually correct you cannot place of here because what's happening is i2 is fetching some operands this uh, of is the third stage so this is of i2 is using this hardware to fetch some operand and is placing here so that po stage uses it and if you place operand fetch of third instruction here what is going to happen is the third instruction will again use this hardware to overwrite this buffer okay and still if you place of here whatever value i2 has fetched will be overwritten by whatever value i3 has fetched and po this one stage is not aware that i3 has overwritten the buffer already okay so just to conclude it you might even place of here or even place of here that means in the last cycle of perform operation of i2 i need, uh, i don't have wish to complicate things too much by going into a lot of details but hardware will take care of everything even if you place it here hardware is going to take care of everything just don't worry what i suggest you is you neglect this of stage in such cases simple here also you neglect this of stage okay but if still you want to go into a bit more details if you understood this question just skip the video if you want to go into details let me explain you best thing is place of here because by then the value fetched by of of i2 will be used by perform operation of i2 and placing of here will have no effect because anyways the values fetched by of will be overwritten due to this operand forwarding and as well as the of of third stage could be easily placed here so these two will also not interfere with each other and this one will also not interfere with each other okay anyways uh, just for the purpose of solving gate questions or just for uh, scope of this video i'll suggest you neglect of stage altogether like this that's it